the big headline out of the ruling is Trump's back on trial unless the Supreme Court intervenes. Uh, but the, just, the judges also went deeply into some of that evidence, as I showed, and it kind of reminds you how damning this is. I mean, you have criminal trials, sometimes with convictions, that have a lot less video footage, a lot less documentation. Uh, what did you make of that section of the ruling? Well, you Obviously, there's a set of allegations, a very robust set of allegations. Um, Trump will have an opportunity, if he stands trial, to contest them. But I think one of the reasons the D.C. Circuit spent as much time as it did on that is because they understand that this is a document for public consumption, too. And a lot of people might be using this as an entry point to kind of understand the lay of the land and why it is that Trump uh, ought to be standing trial. And I thought they very uh, nicely laid out the specifics. But also, when you read the specifics, you understand that none of this has anything to do with being president. Right. None of this, like, you know, strong arming these people, the alternate slates of electors uh, trying to put all this pressure on Pence had nothing to do with Trump's official duties, which is what he's been claiming the whole time. Right. So it's very useful, I think, for just to, to put this right in front of uh, the public and to do the analysis like right straight down the line on the allegations themselves and not what Trump claims they are. That's the law. Gene, more widely, we're going into this presidential campaign. You have two people who are have both been in the White House and are seen as likely nominees, although anything could happen between now and November. Exactly. Um, but when you look at that and you now see that the Supreme Court is right in the middle of all of this, whether yeah. they take it or don't. Right. And I'm sure the Supreme Court wishes it were not in the middle of all this because they don't want to, um, well, um, you know, uh, Bush v. Gore notwithstanding, they don't want to decide our elections. And so they don't want to, um, you know, tomorrow I'm, I'm sure they're going to be um, really concerned about the notion that former President Trump could be kicked off the ballot. Um, uh, that's going to viscerally, I think, bother them. And it's unclear to me what they're going to do with the immunity case. I mean, this the, the D.C. Circuit gave them the off-ramp, right? Yeah. I mean, they, they you know, it, 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 it's so comprehensive, the ruling, and so detailed um, and very clear. And so they can just say, hey, you know, let it just whiz right past and um, let the trial begin. Um, it's unclear. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it, it, court watchers can count whether there are the requisite four, four justices yeah. who want to take it up.